Today for episode 19 of how to build the class at minigames lobby, we'll be building the third part of the sword building. This will be the second floor and will include obviously the swords that give this legendary building its awesome name. So to get started on the second floor, we're going to start with the easy stuff like building the walls. So to begin, we're going to come to the back left of the building and place a stone brick one block behind the oak logs that we placed previously like this. It's kind of hard to really fully explain, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. Then we're going to extend that single stone brick up eight more blocks, of course, for a total of nine. Now, once we've done that, we're just going to simply repeat this exact same thing all the way across to the other side of the wall itself or the other side of the building. Next, we're going to start on the front left and right balconies. So to start, we're going to place in our oak doors and then build a stone brick frame around them. Then from here, we're just going to do the exact same again, but this time where the doors would be is where we're actually going to be placing in our glass panes. Next, on both sides of the doorways that we just built, we're going to add a six block tall pillar with cobblestone. Then once we've done that, we're going to take out our stone bricks and place them above the cobblestone walls. Then we'll just be doing the same pattern on both sides, obviously the left and the right. So first we're going to place one stone brick, then behind that we're going to place five stone bricks. And then we're going to place one oak stair actually pointing towards the front of the fountain, but I do that later on. Of course, you'll see that in a second. But then behind that, we're going to do another five stone bricks again. And lastly, five oak planks. Now to finish the balcony area off entirely, we'll just add two oak logs above our corner logs and then four cobblestone walls. Be aware, it will be a little bit tricky to do this. As you'll see, I kind of struggle a little bit, but you'll get it. We'll also really easily on both sides just add one spruce slab above the upside down front oak wood stairs. It's, it's really hard to explain this. Hopefully you can just watch what I'm doing here because explaining this verbally is like the most insane thing ever. I also forgot to mention there, uh, you're going to want to also add these three oak fences on the right side of the building or the left side, depending on if you're inside of the building, um, and that'll be you. Saying that, we actually also need to add four additional cobblestone walls on each side of the window areas, of course, at the top, um, which is a little bit annoying to do, but you'll be able to do it, I'm sure, as well. And I, I promise once you've done that, that is everything done. So if you've done everything correctly, it should be looking just like this. Now we can start on the main window, which is obviously the center window for the entire building. So to begin, we'll first place three upside down stone brick stairs. Then we'll add three cobblestone in each side and add in our glass panes. Then we'll 
Then we'll add in three rows of stone bricks going from one side to the other. Now once we've done that, on the third row we're going to come to the back and place one stone brick in the middle and then one on the right and one on the left. Then we'll come to the front and in the middle place an upside down stone brick stair and then above that stair we're going to add our redstone lamp. Next we'll place an oak button on each side of the redstone lamp except from at the back where we're going to place a torch or a redstone torch to power it. Now lastly to complete the main window section we'll add in our random stone bricks which is a little bit hard to fully explain so hopefully you can just watch what I do here and then we're going to add in our upside down stone brick stair above the redstone lamp that we just placed a moment ago to kind of really kind of really finish that area off and then finally we're going to add in our jungle and oak fences on both sides which will take me a minute to do because you'll see I kind of forget about it and the footage and then obviously I remember to do it. So now that we've done that, we're going to move on to what I like to think is the most difficult part of the tutorial, and that is the rafters. So to start this, we're going to first need to be above the main window area, which was where we just were. So hopefully you should be there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the oak planks on the very back left and right sides. And we're going to place one oak log facing towards the fountain. Then once we've done that, we're going to add another six oak logs going towards the fountain for a total of seven, including the original one that we placed. Then we're going to come back to the first log that we originally placed to actually start doing those kind of main rafters if we're calling them that and place two oak planks and then we're going to do that again two more times for a total of three. Next we'll on both sides extend those planks across by four blocks and you'll see what I mean by that in just a minute but first we're going to add four upside down oak stairs and um, pretty much right behind or not pretty much exactly right behind the actual uh, cobblestone walls that we originally placed um, just a moment ago of course and that'll be us. Now once we've done that we'll add four oak planks pointing towards the front or obviously towards the fountain on both sides and then we'll add four spruce stairs in front of those planks obviously just normal stairs not upside down and I know this is really kind of I guess annoying to listen to or kind of follow but it's just this is the best way I can audibly kind of describe this to you. But from here the next part is painful to describe audibly like to the point where I can't really describe it so I'm just going to let you follow along with what I do. Now remember as always you can either pause or turn down the playback speed if I'm going a little bit too fast while either speaking or even actually just in gameplay so be sure to do that if you need to. And lastly, as a quick small note, something I forgot to do is you'll also need to add in these little things above the main window on the right and on the left. And um, it's just using the last of our actual cobblestone walls and the only two spruce uh, wood or spruce, uh, spruce wood planks um, that we have, and that should be you done. If you've done everything correctly, it should look just like this. 
So for our final touches, we're just going to really easily add in our torches, then our item frames with the swords inside of them, our carpet, our railings for the actual stairs, and our plant pots with poppies inside of them, and that'll be us done. Um, I'm sure you can just watch exactly where I place everything here. It's incredibly easy to do, and that'll be it. And well, just like I said, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's tutorial. That is everything we've got to share right there. If you guys did go to enjoy this tutorial, found it interesting or useful, please be sure to share it with your friends and family. Drop a like. And if you have any questions or issues, leave a comment and I'll respond as soon as possible. Also, please be sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell to stay notified when I release any new episodes of this series. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll hopefully see you peeps later on.